There are two types of hypotheses that we need for hypothesis testing. The one that we test, the null hypothesis, and the one that we use instead if we reject the null hypothesis, i.e. the alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis states that there is no difference between the experimental or sample mean and the control or population mean. Therefore, any differences between the experimental mean and the control or population mean are due to chance. The null hypothesis is a falsifiable hypothesis. If the experimental sample was drawn from a population with a mean of mu equals 100, then the null hypothesis will state h sub 0 colon mu equals 100. So if the test mean was 95, then the true test mean was 100 minus 5 points of error. The sample mean poorly represents the control or population mean, but functionally they are the same. Here are ways that you could write a null hypothesis. There will be no difference between the scores of the deaf rats and the hearing rats. The scores this year will be the same as the scores from last year. The men's scores will be no different than the women's scores. The alternative hypothesis states that the experimental sample will be different than the population. The experimental test mean was so different from the control or population mean that the test mean more likely represents a different population, one with a different mean. So if the experimental mean was 150, then it is so likely to occur in a population with a mean of 100 that it better represents a population with a mean of 150. The alternative hypothesis would be written as h sub 1 colon mu does not equal 100. Here are examples of ways that you could write an alternative hypothesis. The deaf rats will have a better sense of smell than the hearing rats. The drunk people will make fewer driving mistakes than the cell phone users. Golfers are more likely to be struck by lightning than swimmers. Later, we're going to learn that alternative hypotheses can be directional or non-directional. For now, just concentrate on learning that there are null hypotheses and alternative hypotheses, and that the null hypothesis is the one that assumes no difference.